My name is Rangarai Machemedze. Uh, I'm with the Regional Network for Equity in Health in East and Southern Africa. Uh, and I coordinate uh, the program that looks at uh, engaging in global policies. Patents, they really limit uh, access to these essential health uh, products because the companies that are um, uh, applying for patents uh, on essential health products for countries like Zimbabwe, which is a developing country, we do not have um, the financial resources to access um, the, the drugs or the, the, the vaccines or the technologies, which is uh, quite expensive for a country like us. Of course, the companies will be trying to recoup the investments they have made um, in the manufacture of, 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 of those essential health products. But patents, they limit access uh, to such by, 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 by developing countries. So for us, it has really been a, a challenge. We've been fighting uh, against this, this, this patent. We have to balance between uh, the issue of public health and the issue of commercial interests. In this case, the commercial interests far outweigh public health interests. So for us, from an, ob an objective point of view of wanting to secure public health, we are saying there is need to at least reform the patent regimes that we have, such that countries are able to access essential health products to meet the public health needs uh, of the people. Right now, what we are seeing in the different countries, what we are seeing within the uh, world intellectual property regime is the companies are the ones that are having access to super huge profits at the expense of public health. And that's why it is essential that these uh, should actually be reformed to allow countries, to allow people, especially poor people, to access these drugs, to uh, the medicines, the vaccines, at a reasonably uh, priced cost. Right now, the costs are very high because of the patents. And this is why we are having all these challenges. The first thing that I have to say is that um, no one is safe until everyone is safe. Whether it is in Germany, whether it is in Zimbabwe, there is need for access to essential health products by all people worldwide. And I am calling upon the German government to support the waiver uh, that has been put on the table uh, at the WTO by uh, led by South Africa, India, and uh, other uh, countries within the East and Southern Africa region, like Zimbabwe, uh, Eswatini. Can we support? Can, can the German government support this, such that it really stands by its ethos on social justice as well as health justice for everybody? The pandemic has affected, it started in China. Nobody knew that it was going to stay, uh, it was going to go beyond the borders of China. So everyone is at risk until everyone is secure. We need to secure everybody. So that's the message that I'm putting across to the German government. Uh, as Equ Equinet, we have written previously, I think in the last three weeks, we have written through the, the, the German embassy here in Arare in Zimbabwe, and their response was quite positive to say they support the need for manufacturing capacity within the African countries. Germany has got the technology, and if it can come in and support uh, the efforts of the African governments to establish local production facilities either at the regional level that support the region in terms of um, the production of essential health products, that would be very much welcome, or in terms of financing, so it could be technology, it could be financing, it could even be uh, in terms of human resources. This is really essential, and this is the message that we are saying, if the German government could be able to support in these initiatives, then it will be true to the spirit of ensuring a, a, a just society.